Stop it! Stop it! You're going overboard. How are you, Melbourne? Oh my, I have missed you. I have learned a lot about you in the two years that we weren't here. Shit! <laughs> I've learned that when you panic, you buy a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> It's like, what, why is that your go-to? Why is that your, uh, uh, let's shit! <laughs> we did the same thing, fuck. We, I ate like a hay baler in spring. <laughs> <laughs> learned a lot of things in the last couple of years. We also learned that staying at home is quite boring, but not that hard. <laughs> it's not that hard. Like, we all stayed at home, we homeschooled, we kept the kids at home, we baked and we baked and we ate and we baked and we ate. And then to a point where we couldn't shit anymore and we have so much toilet paper. <laughs> but I realised something, because my wife was a stay-at-home mum, and as soon as we went in lockdown, I could sense the panic at home. And I realised this because she knew I was about to find out. It's not the hardest job in the world. <laughs> it's just not. I don't give a shit. Those bitches have had it too good for too long. <laughs> oh, it's the hardest job in the world, is it? <laughs> is it though you sit in your pajamas and build Lego till noon? <laughs> and then you eat cupcakes and lollies? You know how many stoners I know would kill for that job? <laughs> You can't say that at home, because that invites trouble into your home, doesn't it? I can't get home and my wife goes, oh, I'm so tired. And I go, why? <laughs> Just that one word and I'm in deep shit. <laughs> why are you tired? Why am I tired? Because I did all of the washing today. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, thanks. But let's face it, it's not like you're loading it in a basket and putting it on your head. <laughs> and walking it down to the river. <laughs> and now you're there in the river knocking out stains with a stone while you're singing folk songs with the rest of the villager ladies, are you? <laughs> no, you're putting that shit in the machine and pushing a button. <laughs> And then when that machine starts singing at you, you take it out and you put it in another machine, you push that button. And when that one starts singing, you take it out and you put it on the couch for six weeks. <laughs> Get the kettle on, bitch. <laughs> Things aren't great at home, guys. By the way, you're laughing, things aren't going to go well at your home either. <laughs> I don't want you to think romance is dead. Romance can never die. It will never die because there comes that time in every evening around 7 o'clock where you realise, shit, we don't have enough bread and milk for tomorrow. <laughs> you go, babe, babe, you're going to have to go to the shop and get some bread and milk. And they're like, all right, go. And then they go. And when they come back from the shop, you're like, come here, give me a kiss. Give us a kiss. And they're like, oh, I'll just put the stuff away. Come here, give me a kiss now. You kiss them, you give them a big old sloppy kiss. Not because you miss them, but because you want to know, did this motherfucker buy a chocolate at the shop? <laughs> and they need it in the car without buying you one? You guys have been a 